you know before i begin i've done this video over a million times over for real and the reason why i've done it a million times over is because i made mistake after mistake after mistake i'm i really i really didn't want to do this video to be honest with you straight up the reason why is because i'm just tired of just negativity in the black community and it's just it's it's, it's just time that we breathe it's time that we heal but of course Something happens like this. And this happened prior to Takeoff's death. This is a month old story. You understand? And the only reason why, you know, her story, Shanquilla Robinson's story, is going viral now is because of the parents of Shaquilla Robinson. They want answers. They demand answers. For real. And just as recently, I think it was yesterday and the day before, they were on the local news here demanding answers. You understand? And it's obvious they can't get it. A, 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 the truth from the friends of Shaquilla Robinson that went down there with her to Cabo, New Mexico. According to her friends, she passed away from alcohol poisoning. But that's not what the autopsy said. The autopsy said that she suffered from a broken neck and a fractured spine. And it's crazy, you know. Um, it's a video that's out there that's going viral as well, you know what I'm saying, of her getting beat up. And in the background, you can you can hear a guy saying, Well, Shaquilla, aren't you gonna fight back? And she's saying no. This is a young female, 25 years old, entrepreneur, beautiful woman. Had her own braiding, you know what I'm saying, business here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte native. It's gone. And the parents want answers. They demanded. But you see, you know, let's just be real. America can't do anything. It's, it's beyond their jurisdiction. This situation happened in New Mexico. So, excuse me, let me take it back. For those that are not aware of the story, it goes like this. Um, Shaquilla Robinson traveled um, on vacation. She went on vacation with a few friends. She went down there to Cabo, um, New Mexico, rented an Airbnb. Um, something happened, an altercation went down. Her and someone else got into a fight. It was recorded. And then, no less than 24 hours, um, the friends of Shaquilla Robinson called her parents to let them know that Shaqu Shaquilla Robinson passed away. After that, the friends of Shaquilla Robinson's, Robinson packed their stuff up and immediately left New Mexico and went back to Charlotte. Dropped off Shaquilla Robinson's belongings, you know, her suitcases, etc. And then... All of them privatized their uh, social media. And this is a shame. This is a female that's gone. Gone. And I'm here to tell you, man, I really don't like how, you know, um, certain YouTubers are content creators, um, celebrities as well. Is handling the story. First and foremost, if you want to pay tribute towards the dead, stop posting up pictures of her, you know, model pictures of her with, with her, her breast half exposed and her derriere out. That's not a proper way of paying tribute towards that young female. Stop sharing a video that shows her getting beat up while being butt naked on the floor. See, this is crazy to me. This is the reason why I know when it's time for me to go. For real, for real. I'm going to be ready to go because times have changed. And now you can't even trust your friends, let alone your family members. 
You know, her mother said the last time she heard from her was, you know, she talked to her on the phone. And Shaquilla said, you know, I'm go I'm doing good, da, da 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 you know, and I'm about to get off the phone because I'm about to have dinner. And that was it. The mother and father can't sleep at night because their daughter is gone. And they don't know who, who did, who committed the crime. A murder. Because it's obvious she didn't break her own neck and fracture her spine. It's obvious that the friends know more than what they're saying. What they're telling the parents of Shaquilla Robinson. And it's a shame. I just hope that this story doesn't go cold. Because it, it did. It went cold for a couple of weeks. And then the parents got up there and started demanding answers. And now... You know, it's it's came to to the forefront again. Now, let it had been a non-black. I'm not trying to bring no race in here, but this is the truth. Let it had been a non-black, they would have had bloodhounds. America, that is. They would have sent bloodhounds over to New Mexico. There would have been sleepless nights of thousands of police looking for, let's say, Sarah. Karen But there's No alarm for A young black woman For real Black women Let me tell you something We have our We, we, we do have our differences I'm not gonna lie But overall I love you I care about you And I'm here to tell you Being that I care about you And I love you Straight up, you're on your own. Straight up, you, you're you not protected. You're not by anyone. So, I recommend that you protect yourself. That's real talk. And if you're in a local area, stop at, stop by this famous gun range. Can't miss it. Not too far from uptown, called Blackstone. Walk in there and say, hey, listen, I don't know anything about gu guns, firearms. All I know is I need to protect my life because nobody's going to, nobody don't have my back. And I'm telling you, there'll be, there'll be people in there that'll be more than happy to assist you. You know what I'm saying? You could, if you don't have any firearms right now, you could rent firearms from Blackstone. And find that perfect fit. That perfect firearm that you can grip and handle when you pull that trigger. And once you find that perfect fit, I'm telling you, in the state of North Carolina, it's a little, little bit of little, little red tape. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't just automatically, you know, buy a firearm. Excuse me, or rather a pistol. You got to go through the procedures of, you know, getting a gun permit. Um, you can go on a website of Char Charlotte Mecklenburg County um, Sheriff's Department, fill out an application. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't have no domestic uh, violence and armed robberies or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? You get approved. It'll take a couple of weeks. You'll get your permits in the mail. However many permits you want. Take it to uh, pla places like Cabela, Bass Pro Shops, a gun range pawn shop, anywhere that they're selling pistols and purchase you a pistol. But for now, while you're waiting on that application, that permit, right? You can get you a, a, a rifle right now at Blackstone. Right now, AR-15, shotgun, etc. Arm yourself. Protect yourself. Let me tell you something. Pretty Ricky and I, we love one another. We're brothers. But even when I go see him, I, I got my shit on me. And it's not the same that he's gonna, you know what I'm saying, turn against me. It's not to say that. It's just that I take my shit wherever I go. Because I have to have my back. Just as well as he does too. And it's no disrespect. When I go over his house, he come over my house, whatever. We put our firearms on the table. That plain and simple. 
But yeah, females, young, I'm young as well as old. Protect yourself. They just found, a couple weeks ago, they just found a black woman. <laughs> they found a black woman's body behind somebody's house. Somebody's house in East Charlotte. Y'all are popping up missing. Either y'all popping up, um, uh, y'all are missing or found dead. And no one's coming to your aid. I'm embarrassed to say not even a black man. That's true. That's a reality. That's a harsh reality that you have to swallow. That's a harsh world pill that you have to swallow. Facts. That this young woman went down to New Mexico with friends. The friends came back, but she didn't. Or let's just say she did. She came back in a body bag, though. And I dislike social media. I dislike the people on social media. Because all it is to them is a story. Let's talk about Shanquila Robinson. And then let's move on to another topic. Another thing that's what? Trending. Straight up. I just want to know. It's a human nature. To care. When did we stop caring for one another? Oh, was I just blind to the fact that we, we were slowly but surely losing care for one another throughout the years? And it might have been. Because it's crazy. I'm, I'm more than sure that you have a story. Just like, not so much just like the story of Shanquilla Ch Robinson. Because you probably escaped just like I did. But all of us have stories like that. It's just that, excuse me, we survived. I'm going to end this video. I'm going to tell you my story. Now, let me put this disclaimer out. I'm not the person that I used to be. You know what I'm saying? You understand? I'm a, I was a womanizer. You know, I cared about myself. And it was just that plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a changed man now. So, um, when I tell you this story, it's raw. That's not, who I, that's not who I am. That's who I used to be. All right? Let's go. Um, I had a friend. We used to go out to the clubs and everything. You know, um, back in the days I used to dance. You know, I'm talking about dance, like you know, freestyle dance and stuff like that, hip hop, you know, dance. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, you know, we used to go out to the club together. But it wasn't like he was like my real, real friend. He was. We were all in one one group, right? So this specific time, um. I went out with him, you know, he asked me to go out to the strip club with him, you know what I'm saying, I went out with him, and it was another dude, you know, that, that came along with us, that he knew, and I somewhat knew, but he knew, my friend knew, he was friends with my friend, let me put it to you like that, so we get to the strip club, my friend's friend, come to find out, doesn't have any money to get in, I'm like, well, I'm not paying you to get in, you know what I'm saying, I, I didn't ask you to even come, I didn't even know that you was going with us you understand so i don't know maybe the friend felt a certain kind of way being that i didn't want to help him you know what i'm saying and i had money on me right so we go in the club it was me and my friend right the other dude my friend's friend stayed outside you know what i'm saying so i go in the club you know stripper you know is in there you know they doing their thing i'm mingling talking to the female whatever females plural and um you know i've always been a decent you know looking dude you know what i'm saying i've never had problems with getting women, you know what I'm saying, so when I went into, when I go into any strip club, you know, I, I normally, like, connect with some female in there, and, and that, that's what happened, I connected with a female, and we started talking to whatever have you, and, you know, I was buying drinks, we was getting fucked up in there, and, um, yeah, it was a hood, it was like a hood strip club, you know what I'm saying, we smoking blunts or whatever have you, so, make a long story short, the, the, the strip club ended, and they had, like, a after party, Right, but it was it was like 
another strip club. It was nice. You know what I'm saying? It was like upstairs. Make the long story short. So we drove over there, right? And the dude that was friends with my friends with my friend, he got into that. You know what I'm saying? Because it was kind of like, you know, people. It was like a real tight. It wasn't like a VIP thing, but it was like real, real tight. You know, a, a tight little small number of people, right? So we went in there. And, you know, I took the girl that, you know, the stripper that I was talking to in the back. And, you know, I got fellatio. We did our thing. You know what I'm saying? And I come out of the, um, you know, the, the back of, of the um, strip joint. A little small strip joint. And um, my friend and my friend's friend is looking at me like, you know, hating. <laughs> and I'm looking at them like, yo, that's your problem. You know, I... I, I do what I do. That plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? So, I walk past them, my friend and my friend's friend. And my friend's friend is like, yo, yo, B, you stepped on my foot. Now, taking heed, it's other guys in there. I don't know any of these guys. But my friend's friend knows those niggas. Right? So, next thing you know, he making a big hoopla about this shit. And I ain't even stepped on the man's foot. Five dudes run up on me. So now it's five, including my friend's friend, which is six dudes that's about to fuck me up. I look at my friend like, all right, let's, we, we gonna have to just fight our way out of this. And my friend stepped the fuck back. So here I am. I don't have a way home. It's six against one I don't know what they got you know what I'm saying to be real with you I'm in Durham North Carolina in a hoodest area like East Durham you know what I'm saying not too far away from a few gardens right it's not I know what you're thinking it wasn't Brothers 3 I went to that club too you know I, that's another story but it was an it was a joint it was a it was a it was a hole in the wall but it was a nice hole in the wall it's three o'clock in the morning I know it's about to be over for me right you know what happened? You know who saved me? Straight up. Four strippers got in front of them. It was like, yo, y'all not fucking with him tonight. It ain't gonna happen. And one of them pulled up. They had a Jeep. Like a, um, I think it was a, like a Navigator, something like that. They, One of them pulled up and they put me in a car, drove me home. And I ain't gonna talk about the rest because it was, it was beyond rated R. It was like... It was pulling ups type shit. I had a good time, but at the end of the day, the moral of the story is watch your back, even when it comes to your friends. My friend didn't mind me getting fucked up that night. I could have, I, they could have killed me. The only ones that rescued me was some strangers, black strippers. They could easily just say, yo, that's. That's, that's on y'all They could have just kicked all of us out And said that's on y'all Y'all figure that out But instead They saved my goddamn life True story Black women Stay dangerous Stay dangerous That's real talk Stay dangerous 2A Straight up once you get your pistol, take it further. Take a CCW class. Conceal carry weapons class. You know what I'm saying? You can look it up online. Straight up. It's going to take you about six to eight hours. You know what I'm saying? To go through that class. There's going to be a written test. But don't worry about that. You're going to pass it. Because they give out a booklet. The teacher's going to be there. They're going to give out a booklet. He's going to go, he or she's going to go through everything. Whatever questions that you need to, to be answered, he's going to be there to, he or she's going to be there to assist you. The booklet that they're going to give you, you can take notes out of that booklet. The notes that you take, you could be able to use on that test. Then you're going to be given a field test. They're going to give you, they're going to give you like a 22 pistol. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to have to shoot. I'm from a target of I think it's three yards out Five yards and seven Don't worry about it They're gonna help you Pass that 
when you get that CCW license and, and you have to go through, you know, um, I, I think the class is about anywhere between $80 to $100. The CCW is anywhere between, I think, $100 or $110 or something like that. They're, you're going to have to go downtown to get um, fingerprinted and all of that. They're going to run you through the system or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you don't have no felonies, this, et cetera, and that you're not crazy and all of that, right? Once you get your CCW, your license, get it laminated because it's going to just be like a frail look, looking piece of paper. Get it laminated. Put it inside your pocketbook, your wallet. And this will authorize you to carry a gun like this on you. And you'll be able to conceal it. You can put it in your pocketbook. You can put it in your blouse. You can put it in your panties. You can put it in your bra. You can put it under your car. Excuse me. Let me take it back. You can put it under the seat of your car. But before you get that and you get you got your permit, but you don't have your CCW, you can actually carry. You can open and carry this, this uh, uh, firearm. Because North Carolina is an open and carry state. But you can't have it concealed. You know what I'm saying? So you can get you a, a holster, put it on the side of your hip, and you can walk around like that. Stay dangerous. Stop going out at night to Walmart, Target. Stop it. Stay dangerous. Be smart. Black women, I love you. Straight up. And I want to see you all at the gun range, whether it's the gun, I'm talking about locally now. Whether it's the uh, range at Ballantyne, Carolina, um, what is it, Carolina Shooters off of South Boulevard, Blackstone, the list goes on. Let's get it. Stay dangerous. Straight up. Let's get it. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share this video. And may Shanquila Robinson rest in peace. Peace. Thank you.